So while we're at it, while we're optimizing the files on our site, we might as well walk through real quickly a good process to optimize your images. If um, you look at the resource links I provided on the homepage of this um, demo site, you'll see Yahoo's Smush It link there. I've got it open in another window here already. It looks like this. And here's what it allows us to do. It um, enables us to take these images that we've used in our carousel and squeeze the last bits of extra file space out of those while still allowing them to look great. I've optimized these at JPEG High um, using Photoshop's Save for Web interface already. But um, one of the things that you find when you do some research is that that Save for Web process is not as efficient as it could be, and there are some other tools that do a better job for us. So we can still squeeze some more bytes out of our files. Let's find those files. It's antennae, Carina, Echo, and NGC, name of a galaxy there. We also have the icons images um, there, those uh, sprites that contain all of our icons in them. They uh, look like this when you open them. And we might be able to squeeze just a few bytes out of those if we tried. Smush it can help us do that. So let's uh, go here to Smush it and we're going to use the uploader. I'm going to select files to smush. So here's my folder with my files and I'm going to select all of these image files including the glyph icons just to see what happens. So let's open those and they'll start uploading here and it's going to take a bit so give it a little bit of time to get your files uploaded and it's going to report to you in just a second. So now it's finished and I see I've gotten a decent bit of savings. I've saved overall 2.58% uh, um, or 10.74 kilobytes. Now obviously if we hadn't already up optimized our files we would have saved a great deal more and so this is a good tool for optimizing and the other thing is if I had a lot more files here I've only uploaded six I would have uh, saved obviously lots more total file size as well so here's what you do when you get this done you go ahead and download your smushed images and if you'll click that, it's going to take a while to process, and then it's going to start a download of those files. Once they've downloaded, they'll come down in a folder that looks like this. It'll have a string of numbers and a zip, and so go check those out. Extract those, and we can see them, and we do have significant or decent file size savings here. Now, because I'm not so concerned about um, losing different versions of my image files, I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop those across. Truth be known, I also have copies of these files elsewhere, so I'm fine to just go ahead and replace all here. So there, I've saved a decent bit of file size in my images using Smush It, and in our previ previous video, we saved a lot of bytes. Um, with our smaller CSS and JavaScript files. So you should feel good about that. And if you'd like to do a little bit more reading, I've provided links to Google's resource on minimizing payload size. And we've taken some of those steps here. And then this excellent article by Andy Killen at Specky Boy walks you through some great ways and some ways to think about optimizing your images for the web. I highly recommend it. There you go.